Once upon a time, there was an ice-cold town with no snow. Then, starting in 1983, came L. Ron Hubbard's Winter Wonderland. And it was good. But now it is gone, probably forever. It exists only in memories. Plus lots of photos and videos. First, a truck brought a giant evergreen tree the church had slaughtered just for the occasion. Then, it used even more trees to build this set. But that's just a fraction of the trees they've killed for worthless magazines, annoying junk mail, and third sets of unread books people are forced to buy. Don't believe me? It's 185,000 square feet of state-of-the-art printing power. It's cutting-edge technology honed to maximum output. It's manufacturing, distribution, and administration all under one roof. And it's the only one of its kind. The new Church of Scientology International Dissemination and Distribution Center. It all starts with a press that weighs in at 121 tons and rolls of paper 10 miles long. Where are your hard hats? You're supposed to have hard hats. With these trees in the lot next to the unused Hollywood Inn, the cult worker bees would construct a frosty fantasy. Working at night to avoid scrutiny, these slaves were often underfed and sleep deprived. Yawn. <laughs> Why do you work at night? Are you in the RPF? No. The RPF is wrong! You're putting, you're putting it over there, it's illegal. That's why it's they, illegal? They, why don't you call the police? Why don't we ask the police about how illegal your work hours are? Why isn't anyone wearing hard hats? Why are you working at night? Why are you working? Then he threw hot coffee in my face. There is this building of the church which is, which is not used. And then they put the, the statement of Edward Halbert. That day we can trust each other there will be peace on earth. It is actually against what Hubbard is, Hubbard is writing. I mean, they didn't trust us at all. There was from the very, very beginning was just distrust. Oh, Santa really enjoys reading L. Ron Hubbard books when I'm photographing his face. Santa, you've been photographed all day. It's not like, you, look at Santa hiding behind that stuff. Santa is embarrassed. Santa is embarrassed to be seen as a Scientologist. Well then don't sit in Santa land. Santa, <laughs> Santa's putting books in front of you. Yes. Don't sit in Santa land if you're embarrassed, Santa. This, it's hysterically funny. <laughs> Maybe he just likes Pulp Fiction. Oh, and you are majorly pissed, aren't you, sweethearts? <laughs> is that this is a crowd favorite for the Hispanic community. And it's really sad because um, 
I mean, the Hispanic community here has no clue what this cult does to the community. And that it's all about money. And you know, Hispanics work very hard for their money. And when this cult comes here as noth nothing but a PR move. The last recorded winter wonderland. Now the boulevard buzzes, but in 1983, when this event started, it was just another abandoned downtown. Only the church made the yearly effort to appeal to minority kids at Christmas time on this very adult, touristy street. <laughs> Santa gives out 1930s Pulp Fiction, Way to Happiness booklets, cheap toys, and candy. Here, Catholic St. Nicholas, as reimagined by the Coca-Cola Company, attempts to seduce children for a space alien cult while Motown sings backup. Scientology is an evil cult. Don't let them spy on your parents. Don't let them ask you questions about spying on your parents. You don't have to answer any questions about spying on your parents. Scientology wants to spy on your parents. Winter Wonderland was wicked, but I still miss it. It costs time, money, and effort while producing no converts. Cultists were exposed to outside influences, like Anonymous. Working class minority kids were accidentally made happy for free. Winter Wonderland has never been seen again. Let's ask Scientologists in 2014 what has happened. Say, I, I see you folks aren't having Winter Wonderland this year. Is that true? I'm not actually sure. I didn't, I didn't hear about that. So oh, really, I just walked by and it's the, the lot is still empty. Hmm. And the parade that sounds unusual. The parade is just Sunday. So I guess they're not going to. You guys hadn't been told or anything? And of Cubs Frog, you're back! You're back, Frog! Hello, the internet wants to say hi. Were you RPF? Were you RPF? David Miscavige is destroying Scientology. Foundation is gone. Hello, hello, handsome. I Knock it off. Back off. Call the police. Back off. Call the police. Where have you been, Mon ami? Where have you been, Mon ami? I will see you at the Christmas Parade in the spa. David Miscavige!
Huh? Doing fine. Oh, you don't want to chat with me? Oh, why don't you have Melissa come out and have me arrested on false charges again? You want to do that? You want to try that again? We can, we can just reestablish a restraining order. So. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, for interbulating you. For interbulating you. The judge didn't like it when. I came up before him and there were, the DA didn't press charges and my lawyer said, we will not waive the right to a speedy trial. Okay. Yeah, Andy, yeah, oh, you're so quiet anymore. The street is so dead now. It's obvious there are so many fewer people here, Andy. So many fewer.